Hi again, everyone. Brian Rhodes here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I certainly am here in Toronto. It's uh, six degrees Celsius, sunny. Uh, it was a little foggy this morning when I went next door for my early morning coffee, uh, but that fog was gone by 10 o'clock. Uh, and now it's just turned into one of those spectacular uh, fall days that we don't get enough of here in Toronto anymore. Um, hope we get a few more though before, uh, before winter sets in. Anyway, when I was in the coffee shop, I was getting caught up on some of the news. I was reading the newspaper, uh, the Toronto Star actually, a very uh, reputable paper, one that's very respected nationally uh, and internationally. Um, and a headline caught my eye. Uh, it read, Bank of Canada looks to Bitcoin. The Bank of Canada, by the way, is our federal bank. It's the bank that lends money to the banks, all right? It's the bank that sets interest rates, much like the Bank of, Indian, bank of England, I should say, uh, and much like your Federal Reserve in the United States. Anyway, uh, it's not too often they give uh, a lot of information out, but uh, in this case, having read it, I thought I'd vlog about it today, even though I wasn't intending to, to vlog today, because there are a couple of points here that maybe uh, reflect on my earlier vlog uh, regarding the STEAM uh, uh, ecosystem that I did a couple of days ago. Anyway, um, let me just, I'll give you two quotes. I'll include the link so you can read it yourself, and then I'll let you draw your own conclusions. But I want to say at the outset, I didn't find it surprising that they uh, were looking at Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, in fact, all cryptocurrencies, uh, they'd be fools not to, obviously. But what did surprise me is they shared some information as to their white paper on cryptocurrencies that I found very revealing and surprised me to the point where I never thought the bank would be saying this outright. So I'm looking at this as being something that might be a trial balloon that's been leaked to the financial community uh, in Canada, maybe the world, to give some indication as to what the Bank of Canada is doing or looking at when it comes to cryptocurrencies. The first quote is as follows. Uh, in a research paper released by the Central Bank Thursday, uh, report authors Walter Engert and Ben Fung said there are merits to creating a central bank digital currency as society starts to move away from cash and the bank's potential to reap profits off issuing that cash could be threatened. I think that's pretty revealing, quite frankly, maybe profound what they're basically saying is that they have a fear of uh, the cryptocurrencies undermining their ability to be able to uh, make profits off of their uh, loans to Canadian banks and or, and or others. So again, I've, I'm a little surprised at that, but not surprised that they were looking. So uh, looking at Bitcoin. So, you know, I've, I've tried to maybe look at it conservatively, maybe I'm overblowing this, but you know, fear is a hell of a motivator and <laughs> they're basically saying they might be running a bit scared. So uh, take that for what you will. Uh, some might argue it's uh, a movement, it's, it's a move to suggest the elimination of cryptocurrencies, which would be preposterous. Uh, but I think most would look at it as seeing a move towards uh, maybe uh, earlier adoption than what we might have anticipated. Anyway, as I say, you judge. Uh, the other quote, though, I found also really interesting. Uh, you know, they can look at cryptocurrencies for many reasons, obviously. But one of the things that they did say out front, which, um, which is as follows. And again, I quote, some of the benefits overlap. By the way, some of the benefits, they're talking about the benefits of the CBDC. That's the Canadian, the Bank of Canada, Canada Bank digital currency, if there was to be one, right? Uh, and they say um, some of the benefits of CDC, C, sorry, CDDC uh, overlap with those of Bitcoin, Ether, and, um, and the myriad of other digital currencies based on cryptography that have emerged 
though one of the central benefits of Bitcoin and the like is that it is decentralized and not controlled by any bank. Well, that kind of hints that one of the major strengths that Bitcoin has, and therefore we can assume that Steam has, is that it is decentralized. Um, that's a pretty strong statement. Um, I'm not sure what they're thinking about that, but they see the fact that decentralization is a powerful tool uh, for the Bitcoin and Ether platform, as they imply. Uh, well, Steam is a decentralized platform. So, uh, guess what? <laughs> It, according to the Bank of Canada, uh, being decentralized carries one of the most important aspects of cryptocurrencies. So I thought I would share that with you. That's it, nothing more. Uh, look to the link and read it all yourself. Uh, I just thought I wanted to share with you today, okay? So you take care. Uh, we'll be back at you uh, tomorrow uh, with another blog. Uh, and until then, you take care and goodbye.